was 15 years old, I found out that I had a rare type of cancer called dysgerminoma. Basically, it was a germ cell tumor coming off of my left ovary. I was diagnosed in January of 2005, went through three rounds of chemotherapy. Afterwards, they were able to remove the tumor and I was pronounced cancer-free on May 6th. I think it's made me a stronger person, knowing that I've you know, gone through cancer and have survived through that it makes, you know, the little stumbles through my career not so big. Growing up, all I've really known for um, American football is the Green Bay Packers. My favorite player right now would probably be Eddie Lacy. He had a great rookie season last year and I really like watching the underdogs, the, the guys make a name for themselves. I've been to three Packer games. The atmosphere there is pretty cool. So I guess that you could say I'm a cheesehead. When I first went over to Germany, I don't know why, but I wanted something sweet and I was looking, you know, going through the bakeries. There was never anything that looked like a cupcake and so I asked the girls if they ever had one and they didn't really know what they were, so I decided I would make some for them. It's funny because they don't really know what frosting is. And they were a little skeptical at first trying them. I think once they had them for the first time, they absolutely loved them. I was a drawing and painting major at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. I still have a year left of school, which I plan on finishing at some point. It's just been a little hard with being over in Germany, playing in Munich. When I was growing up, I've always had a creative side of me. I always liked art. I appreciate the, the time people spend on their artwork. It's just a release from, you know, soccer practice or just something that I can do to relax. child was interesting. I always wanted an older sibling to, you know, play soccer or other sports, anything. On my dad's side, I'm actually the only granddaughter, so I've been spoiled pretty much throughout my whole entire life. When I was growing up, my grandparents always loved playing cribbage and I, you know, would watch them play and I always wanted to get in and, you know, being competitive, I wanted to, you know, to win. Even today, anytime I'm home, I go over to my grandparents' house and play cribbage. I don't think anyone on the U.S. team would probably know what cribbage is. It'd be funny to find out, though. So I spent two and a half years over in Germany. I experienced two Oktoberfests. My first Oktoberfest, I didn't really know what to expect. I think in Munich is where they really, really celebrate it. It starts early in the morning and there's probably 13 to 16 tents and you just go in there and people start drinking. There's music playing and Byron actually bought us all dirndls, which is like the typical um, Bavarian dress. I was gonna bring it to camp, but I thought I better not. Appleton, Wisconsin, that's how I got my nickname. It started off back when I was in sixth grade, so about 13 or 14 years old. I had just joined a team in Milwaukee, which is about two hours south of Appleton, and there was two other Sarahs on the team, so they started calling me Appleton. Pretty soon people just started calling me Apple, and it's pretty much stuck with me ever since. But yeah, it's just, it's something fun. You know, I think people, when they first meet me, they're not quite sure if they should call me Apple or not, but I think it's strange if someone calls me Sarah on the soccer field.